In this video, we're going to reverse what we did in the last video. We're still working with a CDF graph for a continuous distribution, but this time instead of computing probabilities, we're going to compute inverse probabilities. So in a similar process to what we did last time, we basically used the CDF graph to look up uh, y values given x values. We're basically going to reverse that to look up x values given y values in order to convert compute some inverse probability problems. So notice that basically what we did before when we wanted to find a probability we basically drew a vertical line at the input x and then then we uh, found the corresponding y uh, and that was something we were interested in. In this case we're basically going to reverse that. We're going to draw a horizontal line at the uh, the y value that we need, the cumulative probability, and then we're going to just find the corresponding x. So remember that the CDF of x, CDF of a, uh, is the probability that x is less than or equal to a, and uh, it's also 1 minus the probability of x greater than a. Okay. So it's a y value on there. So depending on which one of the techniques we might want to do, we can we can work this out. So here we go. Let's look at some look at an example. So here's an example that I have worked out. So here's a graph of a CDF, and this time we're given the problem. We know the probability that x is less than a is 0.65. So we know the cumulative probability. What we don't know is the a. Now of course probability that x a x is less than a is the CDF of a. So what we have is we have the y value on the CDF. We want to find the x value, a. So here's the y value is 0.65. So find 0.65 on our y axis. Go straight across horizontal to the point on the x on the curve, and then just come down to the x value here, which is our a. Before we had the a, we went up and then over to read off the y-axis. Now we start with the y-axis, go across and down to read off the x-axis. And so here you see that that's, uh, well, about 6, about 6.03 in this particular case. Okay, let's look at another one here. So if we have the probability that x is greater than a, a is 0.8, then that's the CDF of a, which is the probability that x is less than, than a. Well, I mean, th this is not the CDF of a. This is, this is 1 minus the CDF of a. So the probability that x is greater than a is 1 minus the probability uh, that x is less than a. So the CDF of A is the probability that X is less than A. That's going to be 1 minus the probability that X is greater than A. This is what we know. So notice that this time what you have to do is you have to do the 1 minus first. So we have to take the 1 minus the 0.8 to get 0.2. So in other words, if we know, ultimately you can see the point here on the graph. And at this point here, we know the probability from there up <clears throat> is 0.8. So that means the probability from there down is 0.2. So what we do is we draw a horizontal line at y equals 0.2 and see where it crosses the graph. But notice you have to do a 1 minus first whenever you have a, a greater than. So draw a line, a horizontal line at y equals 0.2. 1 minus, that's 1 minus the 0.8. Find the y value there. Then find the corresponding x, which is whatever this is here. It's saying here that it's about 1.01. So according to what I've got uh, here on the on the thing here. So you, if you said 1, that would probably have been close enough. So about 1 is where we have the place where this part down here is a probability of 0.2. This part up here is 0.1. So in other words, to the left of that is, is I mean, a 0.8 up here. So to the left of that is probability 0.2. To the right of that is probability 0.8. And just read those off of the graph. I have a, a little bit, uh, I did this from a program, so I know a little bit more decimal places here um, than are given, but you, one would have been enough. Okay, so now what about finding the median? 
Now remember that the median of a distribution is an x value with a cumulative probability equal to 0.5. So PDF of the median is 0.5. So what we do here is we graph a horizontal line at 0.5 and then just find the x value that goes with that. And it looks like this one is about 4.5 or 4.48. And so that's the median. So the median, when you're right at this point here, Half the probability is to the left, which of course means half is to the right. Okay, the next one is the 95th percentile. How are we going to do that? Well, the 95th percentile is an x value with a cumulative probability of 0.95. So we just draw a horizontal line here at 0.95. There's the dotted line. Find the corresponding place where it crosses the graph of the CDF, pull down to find the X, and there we go. So it's about 11.9, 11.85, there we go. So it's this, this X value right there. All right, time for you to do some. So I've got four problems for you to do. I've got a different one here, and I want you to actually read these off the graph. As usual, I'm going to stop and, and have you uh, pause the video and work through uh, the answers here and then come back and check your work. So the first question is, the probability that x is less than a equals 0.1. What's a? See if you can figure that out from the graph. Press pause now. Well, this is a probability of x less than a. That's a left probability. That's exactly what the CDF does. So that says the CDF is 0.1. The y value is 0.1. So I find y equals 0.1 and draw a horizontal line. Find out where that crosses the graph, which is right there. Pull down and have to estimate that y. So it's between 4 and 5, 4 point something. Let's see. That's 4. That's 5. That's 4.5. I'm going to say 4.2. You may have, may have estimated slightly different than that, but I'm going to say it's about 4.2. Okay? Next, find the median. Press pause now. Well, the median is an x value where the cumulative probability is 0.5. So this time we draw a horizontal line at y equals 0.5. Find where it crosses the x-axis and comes straight down. That looks like it's pretty darn close to 7. So I'm just going to say the median is 7. Okay, so it's that x value. So again, the probability that x is less than 7 is 1 half. Of course, the probability that x is greater than 7 is also 1 half. All right, how about the 25th percentile? Figure that out and then come back when you're done. Press pause now. Well, the 25th percentile is an x value where the probability to the left is 25% or 0.25. So we just need to move this horizontal line down here to 0.25. There it is. Take it across and find the x value there. It looks like it's about 5.5. So the 25th percentile, or the first quartile, is about 5.5. All right, now be a little careful here how the last one differs from the first one. The first one was the probability that x is less than a is 0.1, find a. This one is the probability that x is greater than a is 0.1, find a. See if you can do that one. Press pause now. Well, hopefully you realize that if the probability of x is less than a is 0.1, I mean, probability of x is greater than a is 0.1, the probability that x is less than a is 1 minus the 0.1 or 0.9. So we have this horizontal line then at y equals 0.9, and then we just have to find where it crosses the, x, crosses the graph, which is right there. Pull that straight down and just read off the x value. So that looks like, well, that's 8, 8.5, 9, looks like 8 point, maybe 7. I'm going to say 8.7. So that means this vertical distance from here up to here is 0.9, which means the remaining distance from that point up is the point 0.1. So there's where you see the point 0.1, 1, 
which corresponds to a probability greater than uh, where we are, 8.7. Okay, so we've seen how to do uh, where the cumulative probability is given. Probably to the left is given, we can find the A. Probably to the right is given, find the A. And remember that the medians and percentiles are giving you a probability to the left. And so these are all inverse probability problems. It's really nothing more than just figuring out an appropriate Y and reading off the X, which is just drawing a horizontal line, find it where it crosses the, the graph, pull down and find the corresponding X. So in the next video, we're going to, to do this same thing, basically, but instead of starting with a graph, we're going to start with a formula and then get a graph in the graphing calculators and use the, the, the capabilities of the graphing calculators to uh, help us solve uh, for our, for our uh, X or Y values as needed, whether we're doing a probability or an inverse probability. Okay. By the way, remember how I've got these things marked. When it's time to do some homework problems, uh, it's it's marked here. So if you're in my class, this it's time to do these particular problems from this homework set.